Welcome to this training module on Husqvarna hedge trimmers. Hedge trimmers are designed for cutting thin branches and twigs. They are a great tool for trimming various types of hedges, shrubs, evergreens, and other plants effectively and efficiently. Hedge trimmers can also be turned into a dangerous tool if you don't use them properly. The blades are powerful and sharp and can cause serious injuries or damage. This course will show you how to work safely with your hedge trimmer, protecting yourself, the people around you, and your client's property. Always read your owner's manual before you use your hedge trimmer. If you have any questions about using or maintaining your hedge trimmer, be sure you talk to your supervisor. This module will focus on Husqvarna's 226 series handheld hedge trimmers and 525 series extended hedge trimmers. A lot of the information will overlap. Let's begin with a quick look at the 226 series handheld trimmer. Here we see the gear, blades, blade guard, hand guard, front handle, spark plug cap and spark plug, cylinder cover, fuel cap, starter handle, Fuel tank. Stop switch. Throttle trigger lockout. Rear handle. Throttle trigger. Lock for handle. Air purge. Air filter cover. Choke control. Transport guard. The extended hedge trimmer looks very similar, but it has a longer shaft and handle for reaching higher branches. Here we see the tip protection blade, cutting blade, blade guard, gear, transport guard, hand guard. Front handle, shaft, throttle trigger, stop switch, throttle trigger lockout, air purge, choke control, spark plug cap and spark plug. Cylinder cover. Starter handle. Fuel tank. Air filter cover. Remember to wear the proper personal protective equipment when you work with a hedge trimmer. PPE includes hearing protection, eye protection, gloves, and sturdy boots with non slip soles. You should also wear long pants, and don't wear anything loose or baggy that can get caught on twigs or branches. Tie long hair back and avoid wearing jewelry that can get caught in branches or the trimmer's moving parts. Husqvarna hedge trimmers are equipped with a two-stroke engine and must always be run using a mixture of gasoline and two-stroke engine oil. We recommend using Husqvarna XP two-stroke pre-mixed fuel for your hedge trimmer. Husqvarna Premix Fuel was specifically formulated to provide optimal equipment performance. It's convenient, ready to use, and requires no mixing. If you choose to mix the appropriate Husqvarna oil with fuel, always mix at a ratio of 50 to 1 in a clean container intended for fuel. Start by adding half the amount of the gasoline to be used. Then add the entire amount of the appropriate Husqvarna oil. Shake the fuel mixture thoroughly and then add the remaining amount of gasoline. Don't mix more than one month's supply of fuel at a time. There are a number of general precautions to keep in mind when fueling the hedge trimmer. You should mix and pour fuel outdoors, where there are no sparks or flames. Also, do not add fuel near hot objects, open flames, or cigarettes and cigars. Always shut the engine off before refueling. 
Make sure the engine is cool before refueling. If you need to add fuel during a job, give the engine sufficient time to cool down before adding fuel. Extremely hot parts can cause fuel to burn, or you could burn your hand during fueling. Make sure you fuel the trimmer in a well-ventilated area. Do not add fuel indoors. Fumes from the gas are flammable and may be toxic if you breathe them in. When refueling, open the cap slowly so that any excess pressure is released gradually. Tighten the fuel cap carefully after refueling. Always move the machine away from the refueling area and source before starting. Use a fuel container with an anti-spill valve. If you have spilled fuel on the container or the trimmer, wipe it off with an approved oil-soaked product and allow the remaining fuel to evaporate. Make sure you clean the area around the fuel cap. Contamination in the fuel tank can cause the hedge trimmer to run poorly. If you spill gas or oil on your clothes, change them. Spilled fuel is highly flammable and a serious safety risk. Never start the trimmer near spilled fuel. Always be careful when starting a hedge trimmer. Be sure to look around your work area to make sure there is no one close by. Also, do an inspection of the trimmer itself. Make sure the blades are in good working order and that all nuts and screws are tight. Also, make sure handles and guards are secure and that all covers are undamaged. The complete clutch cover and gear housing must be fitted before the hedge trimmer is started. The blades may start to move when the engine starts, so make sure they won't cause any damage if they do. To start the engine, first set the stop switch to the start position. If the engine is cold, press the air purge button repeatedly until the bulb begins to fill with fuel. The bulb doesn't have to be completely filled. Next, put the choke control in the choke position. Hold the body of the hedge trimmer on the ground with your left hand, not your foot. Grip the starter handle and slowly pull out the cord with your right hand until you feel some resistance. Now, quickly and powerfully pull the cord. As soon as the engine attempts to start, push the choke control back to its original position. Keep pulling the cord until the engine starts. When the engine starts, let it idle for a few seconds before giving it full throttle. Never pull the starter cord all the way out and do not let go of the starter handle when the cord is fully extended. This can damage the hedge trimmer. To start a warm engine, press the air purge button until the bulb begins to fill with fuel. Then slowly grip and pull the starter handle until you feel resistance, as with a cold start. Pull the cord quickly and powerfully until the engine starts. To stop the engine, move the stop switch to the stop position. Using a hedge trimmer effectively takes practice. Take your time as you learn, and practice on appropriate hedges and shrubs before you get into more intricate trimming and shaping jobs. Be patient, and don't be afraid to get advice from more experienced operators. Before you start trimming, do a sight check on your work area. Look for electric cables, insects, animals, and other objects that could damage the cutting attachment. Also, pay attention to uneven ground, stumps, or obstacles that might get in the way as you work. If anything jams in the blades while you're working, switch off the engine and wait until it has stopped completely before cleaning the blades. Disconnect the spark plug cap from the spark plug before clearing any jams. Balance is important when working with a hedge trimmer. Always hold the machine as close to your body as you can to get the balance. Also, always use two hands on the hedge trimmer for a secure grip. When available, Use the pivoting rear handle feature to achieve different positions and work from a more ergonomic position. Make sure that your hands and feet do not come near the cutting attachment when the engine is running. You should also be sure not to rush the work. Rushing can result in uneven trimming and can cause you to lose your balance and possibly injure yourself. In fact, you will get better results if you keep it slow and steady. Stay in control of the hedge trimmer at all times. Again, the blades are sharp and can be very dangerous if used improperly. When performing vertical cuts, use an up and down swinging motion as you move along the edge of the hedge. Take a step, make a cut, then take another step. When performing horizontal cuts, 
Hold the cutting blade at an angle of about 10 degrees and guide the cutting blade along the hedge horizontally. Swing the cutting blade in an arc towards the hedge so that the cuttings are swept to the ground. With both the horizontal and vertical techniques, if you don't go too quickly, you can do a fine finished cut in one or two passes. Go slowly enough that you are allowing the blades to cut. Moving too quickly will simply push some of the foliage aside, leaving it uncut and messy. Sometimes you will need to use the hedge trimmer to shape different types of shrubs. The best way to do this is to use many small cuts from many different angles. Don't take too much off at a time. Work slowly in small sections so you can control the shaping better. For safety, face the engine away from the hedge. Don't trim too close to the ground. You can kick up stones or branches that can injure you or cause damage. Make sure that the tip of the blade does not touch the ground. Remember that this is not a general purpose cutting tool. Never use a hedge trimmer to cut anything except brushes and shrubs. We talk about safety in terms of personal hazards, bystander hazards, and property hazards. You should be aware of all potential hazards when you're using a hedge trimmer and take precautions to protect yourself the people around you, and property. Again, never use or transport a hedge trimmer without approved guards in place and working properly. Personal hazards. Personal hazards are anything that can injure you personally as you work with the hedge trimmer. First and foremost, wear the proper personal protective equipment when you work. Also, be extremely careful around the hedge trimmer blades. They are sharp and the machine is powerful. Make sure the blade guard is in place when necessary and always in good working condition. Keep your hands and legs away from the blades when the engine is running. Sometimes branches or stumps can be thrown when you work with a hedge trimmer, which is why it's important to wear eye protection. Be on the lookout for debris that may get thrown as you work. Also, watch for obstacles and obstructions hidden in the hedge. Electrical wires are potentially a major hazard. If you sever a wire, you can electrocute yourself. Bee and wasp nests are another potential hazard to watch for. Avoid working with a hedge trimmer on ladders or scaffolding. There are other tools you can use safely to trim high branches. Maintain solid, stable footing as you work. Watch for uneven ground, holes, or trip hazards on your work site. Do a site inspection before you begin, so you can be aware of anything that might cause you to trip, stumble, drop the hedge trimmer, or come in contact with the blades. Be careful about working in poor or wet weather conditions. If you have any doubts about a work environment or situation, ask your supervisor for direction. Husqvarna hedge trimmers are equipped with a vibration damping system that reduces vibration. Check frequently to make sure the damping system has no cracks or other damage. For certain people, overexposure to vibration has the potential to cause circulatory problems and even nerve damage in the hands and arms. If the hedge trimmer seems to be vibrating too much, or if you feel like it's injuring you, have the unit checked for maintenance. Husqvarna hedge trimmers are also equipped with a throttle trigger lockout. The throttle lockout is designed to prevent accidental operation of the throttle control. When you press the lock, basically you grip the handle. It releases the throttle control. When you release the handle, the throttle control and the throttle lockout both move back to their original positions. This system ensures that the throttle control is automatically locked at the idle setting. Bystander hazards. Bystander hazards affect the people around you, whether they are coworkers, clients, or the public. Always be aware of people in your work area. It can be easy sometimes to be so focused on your work that you don't pay attention to what's going on around you. Also, it may be hard to hear people with your ear protection on and the hedge trimmer running. Watch for bystanders. If you have a coworker cleaning up behind you, stay well ahead. Don't rush the work. Again, the hedge trimmer can throw stumps or branches that can hit people if they are too close to you. If you see people approaching, release the throttle on the hedge trimmer and move the cutting blades away from them. After they are safely away, you can resume trimming. Again, only use as much throttle as you need to do the job. If you are in confined spaces like walkways, corridors, and courtyards, or in your open windows. The noise can annoy or even frighten people. Be courteous. Keep your eye out for children. Some children will be drawn to the hedge trimmer and may want to see or play with it. 
Keep children away from the hedge trimmer at all times. Never allow children to use or operate a hedge trimmer. Even if the engine is turned off, the blades are still sharp and the machine may be hot from use. Whenever you're trimming one side of a hedge, remember to be aware of what's on the other side. Property hazards. When used improperly, hedge trimmers can cause substantial damage to vehicles, brick, siding, fences, benches, and other landscape features. The blades can gouge just about anything, so be careful when working in close quarters or near buildings. Go slowly and be precise in your work. Debris can also be thrown against walls, fences, or vehicles. Damaging a client's property can cost your company a contract, as well as substantial repair costs. Be careful and courteous as you work. Also, be careful to protect your company's property. Protect the hedge trimmer as you work. Make sure you use the right fuel in the right mix. Check guards, covers, and filters regularly and report any issues you find in maintenance. Hedge trimmers can sometimes be damaged in transport. Again, make sure all guards and covers are in place and secure the hedge trimmer properly in your truck. Finally, to avoid theft, never leave the hedge trimmer unattended. Husqvarna hedge trimmers are a vital tool in any landscape arsenal. Follow the tips in this module and your owner's manual and work with your supervisor to learn how to use your hedge trimmer safely and effectively.